Hi, my name is Aubrey Kilduff, Clinical Imaging Specialist with GE Healthcare. Today I'd like to talk to you about radiation optimization and implementing the ALARA principle on the OECC arms. Before beginning any fluoroscopic procedure, please ensure that all staff members are outfitted with the proper protective gear. This includes a lead apron, thyroid shield, lead glasses when available, and also a radiation monitoring device. The monitoring device should be worn at the collar outside of your lead and the lead apron should be 0.5 millimeters of lead equivalency in order to protect you from the high and low scatter radiation. When positioning the C-arm, ensure that the x-ray source is at the bottom and that the detector or image intensifier is at the top, closest to the anatomy of interest. This will not only improve image quality, but it will reduce scatter radiation and the dose to the patient. When available, utilize the laser aimer in order to reduce the number of shots taken while centering over the anatomy. The laser aimer can be turned on from the front of the C-arm and also from the tablet. When imaging small body parts or pediatric patients, a recommended thickness of 10 centimeters or less, you can, when available, remove the grid and simply store it somewhere safe. By removing the grid, you can utilize lower technical factors, therefore reducing the overall dose to the patient. And don't forget to collimate. There are iris and linear collimators with preview lines so that the collimation can be applied accurately without unnecessary exposures and it limits the exposed area. An alternative to magnification mode is the live zoom feature. This zoom feature allows for a magnified image without increasing technical factors and it can also be helpful when managing tube heat on complex cases. In order to engage the live zoom, one simply needs to just pinch in and then roam to the anatomy of interest. You can also engage the live zoom feature from the workstation. This can be an alternative to the magnification modes, which in fact increase your technical factors. The zoom feature does not increase your technical factors at all. On the monitor, you'll press the zoom button slide the bar to your desired level of magnification, and roam the region of interest box to the anatomy that you're interested in. The OECC arms have dose reduction options suitable for a variety of cases. Low dose is a continuous fluoro with up to a 50% reduction in milliamperage, while pulse fluoro can reduce dose by up to 60% depending on the pulse rate selected. Depending on the configuration of your OECC arm, you can have anywhere from 4 to 15 pulses. All OECC arms come equipped with a dose summary. You can find that under the image directory and at the bottom. The dose summary can tell you the milligray, which is your cumulative air kerma, and your gray per centimeter squared, which is your total dose area product here and here. It also can separate out the difference between pedal time and exposure time, which is imperative when using the pulse mode. After completing a procedure, the radiation dose structure report will populate, and then you can send it over to your facility's radiation dose watching software. Practicing ALARA with the OECC arms will not only allow you to significantly impact the dose to the patient, as well as the staff members in the room, but will also allow you to provide the optimal imaging that you expect from OEC. Thanks for watching.